In this problem, we're told V is a vector, 24.8 units in magnitude, and points at an angle of 23.4 degrees above the negative x-axis. For A, we're told to sketch this vector, B tells us to calculate v, of, uh, v sub x and V sub y, and then C says to use V sub x and V sub y to obtain, again, the magnitude and direction of V. And so let's go ahead and solve this. So what we want to do first is just draw a diagram of what's going on. So we're told V is a vector 24.8 units in magnitude and points at an angle of 23.4 degrees above the negative x-axis. So if we draw uh, y-axis, x-axis here, and so we know it's 24.8 units long, and it's at an angle of 23.4 degrees above negative x. So if this is negative x, right? We're going 23.4 degrees above, and then this is going to be our line, right? So our line's going this way, 23.4, and it's going to be 24.8 units long. And so I'm going to draw a line like this because we're going to have to use this to solve. And so we're trying to sketch this. So we just sketched this vector, right? So this is our vector. And then we're trying to calculate v sub x and v sub y. So let's go ahead and do that. So we know that v sub y and v sub x are just vector components. So v sub y is going to be this component right here, so this length. And v sub x is going to be this component right here. So what we need to do is solve for these. So how do we go about doing that, though? So what we want to do is use trig. So we're going to use cosine and sine function to sine for or solve for both of these. So what you're going to want to do is take the cosine of your angle, which in this case is 23.4. And we know that's going to be equal to, right? So the cosine of an angle, so katoa, right? So adjacent over hypotenuse. So it's going to be equal to v sub x over 23 or 24.8. I'm just going to call it x though, so x over 24.8. And so if we want to solve for x, we can multiply both sides by 24.8. And so we're going to get that x equals 24.8 times the cosine of 23.4. And so if you go ahead and plug that in, you're going to get 22.76. Uh, yeah, you can round to that, so 22.76. And so this right here is going to be this length. And so we can label that, but label it as a negative because you're traveling in the negative direction. So if you're going upwards, you want to label it positive. If you're going downwards, negative. If you're going right, positive. And you're going left, negative. So we're going to label this as negative 22.76 units. And so now we've got this uh, length right here. What we need to do is solve for this length, so v sub y. So let's solve for v sub y. So v sub y is going to be cosine or the sine of 23.4 is equal to, and we know sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so it's going to be this length opposite of our angle over the hypotenuse. So this is going to be v sub y, I'm going to call it y over 24.8. So in order to solve for y, we can just multiply both sides by 24.8. So y is going to be equal to 24.8 times the sine of 23.4. So if you go ahead and do that, that's going to give us v sub y, right? This length right here. And we're going to get that it equals 9.849. And I'm going to round to this place right here. So it's going to be 9.85. And so this is going to be this length right here. And we're going upwards, so we're going to keep it positive. So 9.85 units. And so what we did is we just solved for v sub x and v sub y. So v sub y is going to be 9.85 v sub x is going to be minus 22.76, or you can keep it positive, uh, but you want to keep it negative. So now what we want to do is, uh, since we found these two values, we're going to find uh, the magnitude and direction of v. So what we're trying to do is solve for this right here. So we already know what it is. We're just using it to check, or that's what the problem wants us to do. So let's go ahead and check. Uh, so what we want to do is use the Pythagorean theorem. So the, path, uh, the Pythagorean theorem tells us that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So let's say this is a, this is b, this is c. Uh, we can just plug in our values and check for c. So a is going to be minus 22.76, b is going to be 9.85, and hopefully when we solve for it, we should get 24.8. So c is going to be equal to, if we square root both sides, the square root of a squared, which we're going to say is minus 22.76 squared, plus b, which is 
squared. And so if you go ahead and do this, you're going to get that it equals 24.8. And you can check this in your calculator. And that's exactly what it should be, right? It should be this length, and that's what it is. And so now what we need to check for is the direction. So we check the direction by taking the tangent, uh, the arc tangent of our y value, our y component, over our x one. So you can see how this is true, right? So the tangent of 23.4 is going to be equal to, uh, we know tangent is opposite over adjacent. So this length is our opposite over our adjacent. So 9.85 over minus 22.76. So we can take the arc tangent to solve for this angle, right? So like this would be x, but we already know what it is. So if you take the arc tangent and you do 9.85 over minus 22.76, you should get that it equals 23.4 or minus 23.4. And so if we check right here, it's 23.4. So it does check out. So what we did was we just found v sub y and v sub x, and then we just checked our answers. And so, yeah, that's how you solve this problem.